Welcome back, everyone. Hardyman here, back for another episode of FTB Beyond Hard Times. And last episode, what did we do? We built that mob spawny thing, possibly the mob tower. Uh, got that going and tested it out. Found out that apparently there is mob collision, which I apparently forgot about. If there there has been since I don't know. 2012 or whatever it was that I got into Minecraft. But, uh, yeah, we got that going. Like I said, tested it out. And basically all we need to do now is get the, let's see, the diamond spikes for the bottom. So that it'll automatically kill the mobs that fall down in there. And an absorption, I think it was an absorption hopper, to pick up the items that drop, um, I think it, did it say that it also picks up the XP? We'll, we'll look at that in a second, but if it does, then I'm going to need some tanks and some chests and possibly other stuff that I just have forgotten about. But uh, what they're going to be killing, uh, since we can't do spiders, since they're too large and don't apparently play nice whenever multiple of them spawn, I guess we're probably going to go with zombies and skeletons. So, if we get out of F5 and F1, and come over here, I have set up all the stuff needed to make two soul vials, uh, which if you shift on it, says right-click on a mob to capture their soul, and then right-click again to release it. Um, so, got those. We're going to probably, we're going to get another... Power spawner in there, which I have set up over here. Right ready to go. So let's go ahead and make that as well. And let's see, I think. Do I well I have a space on top of that one, so let's go do that real quick. Oh, golly, he ran out of hose. Uh did I have that hoe in here? Where'd I put that hoe? Ah, there's that hoe. Okay. Make sure that our uh, food supply is still going. There we go. Get up here. Let's place this one down. And... Then we can go do some other things. So let's see here. Oh. Wait, what the? Hold up. Did it just auto-break? Hold up. It did just auto break. Why? Wait, where'd it go? I I, I kind of spent a lot of time on that game. Where'd it go? I don't have it in my inventory. Is it still up there? Okay, it is. Huh? Okay, place out here. No. Does it have to have a spawner in it? Maybe. And you can't just have an empty one? Interesting. That's the only thing that's different about this one than that one. This one actually has a spider spawner that we found combined with it. So maybe you have to actually combine it with a spawner and actually place it. Well, that's poop. Okay, well then, we're going to go find a spawner before we can add that one to it. So, shelving that idea for right now. Uh, where do I want to place this? Golly, I need to, like, clean out some of these chests. So, can't do that right now. Holding off on it. Let's look at this absorption hopper that I looked at. Ah, yes, vacuums up items and XP orbs. So, we're going to have to get tanks and chests made uh, to actually put all this stuff into. So, good. So we're going to have to go to the nether to get uh, some blaze rods so that we can get the Eye of Ender. But I think we, well, we don't have obsidian because I'm pretty sure I haven't been mining obsidian. But what we are going to be doing is go ahead and making those diamond spikes. So I thought, why not go over to uh, our old mine shafty area where I dug out a whole bunch of like branch mines and stuff and found all those diamonds. Uh, you know, do that on camera. Since I did that during the live stream. So I think I'm going to cut and meet you over there. And we'll harvest all of them. 
and see how many we get. So stay tuned. All right, guys, welcome back. So it's right down here, and as you can see, uh, there's our first bit of diamonds that we're going to be collecting today. But uh, yeah, I did this during the live stream, dug out a path that way, dug out a path this way, and basically with my steel hammer, the first set of blocks were right where this torch is, and like that, we uncovered diamonds. And uh, yeah, I was about to like, well, I, I said right before doing that, it's like, I wonder how fast or something like, like how soon we're going to find diamonds. And there, there they were. So, pretty crazy stuff that we found them just like that. But, as you can see, there's more down there and there's some more down that way. So, got a lot of them to collect. So, let's go through here. Collect them. Oh, I did not even consider that these were over, possibly over lava. Let's get beside this one. So, we got eight so far. Pretty good stuff. Let's see, we needed 18 per four, was it? of uh the diamonds was it 18 i think it was about 18 per four diamond spikes so hopefully we get that many and we got more than that so we're we're pretty good right now so you found some more right here and i am doing this with fortune three so unless they added a fortune four pretty sure this is the best we can possibly be getting so pretty good stuff oh uh, let's see here I don't think I found any of that away or this way I don't really remember it's been too long that live stream was I think sometime in the last month so I'm trying to remember where all of the diamonds were uh, we do actually need this obsidian maybe okay that's taking too long Although, is this, what mining level this is? Oh, diamond. So, yeah, I can't actually pick up obsidian with that, can I? I think it's only the steel hammer that is at obsidian mining level. Well, hmm. All right, doesn't look like there's any more down here. So let's go back that away. Oh, not, not doing that, though. And, uh, yeah, I figured out that about the sword that apparently... Or, well, there's, this is a different sword from before. Uh, I think the other one just had this Empower 2 on it. But uh, this one down here has Empower 2 plus travel. Which is, uh, hold shift and right click and you can teleport. Uh, and I tested it out as 20 blocks you can teleport. Which is, uh, pretty cool. I've been, uh, using, like, that's, I, I basically stopped using Jetpack, uh, and basically just been using that just teleporting up and then teleporting back down to the, the like wherever I'm trying to go uh, I mean I guess the jetpack helps in that I can like stop from killing myself uh, if I really need to but I also have the the dark boots which basically has the empowered three which negates fall damage or 70% damage is absorbed and I'm pretty sure it yeah fall damage is negated when powered so pretty good stuff I didn't I really did not know how good in like these inner IO tools and stuff and armor were until I figured that out and I was like it's pretty good stuff all right so we got 60 we almost have a stack of diamonds now so that's pretty good why is that not lit good night uh, let's see here I think there was a little bit more over here I want to say over here we started getting into some caves so it's not the most accurate of sciences of where to look for the diamonds oh there's some oh here's some right here Let's see was that I guess that was it right there so we have over a stack now let's go ahead and put some water down and I guess this is also kind of dangerous since there are dark areas so Got a light up. Uh, let's see, right there. Probably right there. And, uh, yeah, I can't really remember if there are any others. May peruse around a little bit. Let's see. 
Because yeah, I don't have any torches over there. None up there. Are there any? Ah, there's some right there. Alright. Put that down. And get this one. Are there any others? You got any more around here? Guess that was a, just that one single guy. That's a shame. Alright, so we got that one. Any in this area over here? No, I think that's silver. Okay. Well, we got that. So, let's go ahead. Uh, let's try to get some of this obsidian, maybe. Uh, golly, this is going to take a while. So, I may cut and just see you back over at uh, our base. So, stay tuned. Alright, guys. Welcome back. So, got back here. Uh, went ahead, made the diamond stuff, uh, or put it in here to make it. Uh, so, yeah, we're, we came out pretty good. We I put some away in here, oh, over there. 18, I guess we can go and put those away, because I'm pretty sure all we're going to need is 8. Because it's a 3x3, three three. oh, well, wait, no, I guess that is 9. But I think that if the absorption hopper, well, I don't know how the absorption hopper works, really. Hmm, eh, whatever. We'll, we'll go with these, see how they work. I, I don't know, I've never used them before, but... Get those four, and, uh, oh, got some lag there. Picking that up, weird. Got those eight. Let's go over here and set them down. Um, may need some blocks. I don't know if we need to have it kind of levitating or not. So let's go over here real quick. And see what we need to have this, or how we need to have this set up. So we have... Our nine spots, and, oh no, I guess we could have it, oh no, it actually does it on however you place it. Interesting. So yeah, we're going to actually have to place it on the surface. I wonder if they'll break. Would they? Maybe? I don't know. So let's go up here. Place them down here. Uh, they probably will hurt me, right? So probably don't want to... Yep, 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 they kill me very fast. Alright. So got that. Oh, apparently I couldn't eat. Whatever. Let's go ahead and take those away. Okay, they stay there, that's good. Alright. So do they have like a UI or something? No? So... I don't know if they need to have... Like this right here and then well let me look at the absorption hopper again I think it said its area yeah it vacuums up things in a 7 by 7 area so I'm assuming I probably need to go and just fill that middle one in and just put that underneath it like underneath the center one probably be the the best one to put it under so Okay, so we're going to need to make a little bit more, so, golly, it's kind of unfortunate, because it's kind of a waste, um, unless I just want to go with, wait, what is it, is it gold, what does gold do, does gold, ah, oh, it's only drop experience, I kind of want the items as well, well, that's just, a, that's a shame, alright, so let's go, was that one two three four five six seven eight nine plus three more for the ones around it two four six for the swords and let's see here let's go ahead and make this one really quickly oh uh, no not four. Oh uh, no one two and that now make that for me thank you very much all right so let's eat so when we do go back down inside there we don't automatically die hopefully golly all right so actually let's put let's put hover mode on so i can hopefully place it and just get back out there we go that just looks very intimidating I feel very sorry for these mobs. 
Just joking. Not really. All right. So let's do that. And that. And yeah, looks pretty good. So we got three extra. I don't really know like what I could do to like actually utilize those because any like any way that I'm gonna expand this, it it probably wouldn't work, right? I don't I don't know. I'll keep them around. Maybe have them for something else. But uh, so that should be good. So now for the rest of the episode, gotta go find a uh, I guess a Nether fortress or just a blaze hanging out somewhere, uh, and take his blaze rod, uh, so that we can get that blaze powder and have that absorption hopper. So we can try to test that thing out this episode. So let's teleport our way over here and get in here. Because we haven't, I'm pretty sure I haven't been in here in a while. Oh, very loud. Yeah, because I haven't even done anything with this recently. But, uh, let's see here. Yeah, because we, we, I'm pretty sure we didn't have the jetpack uh, last time I was in here. So, this is, uh, this is very interesting. So let's see. Should I? I may want to go ahead and place a, a, a waypoint where our portal is at. Just in case uh, I do lose my way. So let's see here. What is what is that? Is it this button? No. Yes. Okay. Waypoints. Uh, let's get a new one. Uh, portal and save. And I guess well we can just leave it on. Oh wait, does it need to be Nether on? Everything else off. Okay, good. Okay. So we got that, maybe, hopefully. There we go. All right, so let's go try to find this nether fortress. Uh, if it takes too long, then I may cut right here and, you know, plop back in whenever we find one. Oh, here we go. Bingo, found it, guys. Welcome back if I decide to cut all that out. Golly, it is, it is taking us a while to, to find it. But we found it, so let's see here. Let me get some food in me real quick. Now I wonder if now let's go let's go back here so I can do my whole torch technique. So I can find my way out of here. So we have oh that seems like someone's already been here. Even though this is a single player world. Interesting. Because why would that be blocked up? Oh. Got a guy. Got to watch out for him. And a dead end. Alright. So let's go back this way and I guess bust through there. That should be, what, nether wart? Area down there? Wait. I have... Oh. Is, is a hammer really the best option? I don't know, but I'm gonna do it. Is there anything up here? No. Let's get, uh, wait. Oh, it goes in here, okay. I forgot that I had this digging backpack. Uh, yeah, let's put that in there. Need some of that to have as block enough material. Um. Just in case there is like a wither skeleton that I don't want to be friends with. Uh, so let's go down this direction a little bit. See if we find what we are looking for. I don't think that actual like light affects yeah any type of wither skeleton. I'm, I'm pretty sure. But I could be wrong. But just in case. Want to have that. Also want to find my way back. So, all that good stuff. Oh, is that... That's possibly a wither skeleton. Yeah, I was right. About half of it. 
Oh, they are murdering each other. I'll let that happen. Anyone down this way? There he is. There's another staircase, so watch out about that. There you go, sir. Don't want to kill that big man. Mainly because uh, he'll get angry. And no one likes him whenever he's angry. Uh, let's see here. Ooh, got some withered dust and a necrotic bone. So that's cool. Filled tin can. With what? I don't even know what. Alright, well, I'll take that. And I guess I could have just broken the chest. Gotten all that stuff, but whatever. So, there's more of that that away. Oh, golly. Is that him? I think that was him. Yeah, he's he's well, he's walking all around me, trying to scare me. Golly, guy. Let's do that. Yeah, I think that skeleton's to my right, wither or otherwise. Okay, and that's where I just came from over there. Gotcha. Let's uh block off this section so I can lean this chest real quick. Um, empty void tier. Interesting. And nothing else of real importance. Uh, I guess I can get rid of that bone and take those iridium shards. Really, I could just, uh, again, have broken the chest. Wait, where'd that... Oh, I was like, where'd it go? Did it stay in the chest? That's some new crazy stuff? No, it, it's not. So, yeah, my current dark boots are better than that one. So, if worse comes to worse, I could just drop those, I guess, maybe? I don't know. Alright, so... That's where that guy was. So, let's continue... Or, well, let's go back down to this way where I heard the skeleton. Yeah, it's just a regular skeleton. Alright. I'll take those arrows. Hopefully I got them. Let's go ahead... Break down this barrier. Continue on this way. Haven't heard any blazes, so that's unfortunate. And that is a dead end. So what are these? Purple glow shrooms. Hmm. I think I've seen them before whenever I've been in here, but I, I don't know if I've actually picked them up. I know I've picked up some other type of mushrooms, but eh, I don't know. Golly, it's like a crazy maze. See, I hear burning. That may be a good sign. Oh, it is a good sign. Um, I need some torches, though. So let's get that and that. I think I hit one of them. Made him upset. Oh, hello. There we go. Hey, we got one. Sweet. And we got into fire. Did I lose one over there? I possibly did. Alright, well, we got that. So, we have enough to make the absorption hopper. But, uh, it is, it is definitely running long of an episode. So, hopefully... Wait. Gotta break that. Uh, probably gonna go and just cut right here and meet back with you. Um... Because, yeah... That took a little bit of time. Uh, I guess I should also probably get some of these, right? Because I don't think we have any other warp back at base, but just to be certain, get some there. Also probably light this up. Golly. Other stuff could spawn in here. Not just uh, stuff centric to uh, nether fortresses. But yeah, like I said, I'll go ahead and cut right here and meet back with you uh, when we're back in the overworld. So stay tuned. Alright guys, welcome back. So, back here in the overworld, safe and sound, did not die, and also found the portal. Uh, but have over here set up basically everything that we need. Just need to turn that into blaze powder, turn that into an eye of ender, place it in there, and we have our absorption hopper. So, let's see here, pushing out any side fluids will insert into tanks and items in the inventories. 
range is increased by absorption radius upgrades. Okay, so I'm pretty sure a 7x7 should be enough for us, so let's take that. Oh, it seems much smaller in uh, the, the, the picture. Golly, it's like taking up crazy amounts of my screen. Uh, so let's go down here. I assume just place it right there. Okay, so it has its own in like a tank for the XP. So interesting. I guess. Well, I guess we need item condiments, don't we? So let's go make some of those. I don't think I have any, or I haven't made any. Really quickly. Um, let's see here. Item. Uh, con maybe no. Okay, there it is. Uh, pulsating iron with condo binder. I thought it did make some. I didn't make some pulsating iron. Was that four item conduits? No, I just have energy. Although I do, I did make some of these uh, upgraded fluid conduits. So we may. Although I don't think we have a tank, do we? I don't know how to make a tank, so I have to look that up. Um, hmm. I guess I could take some over there just in case we do want to do that. But uh, how do you make some pulsating iron? Uh, Inner pearls and iron? That is. Golly. We, we need to get some uh, Enderman in there, I guess. Alright, so let's do that. Um, eh, let's, let's hold off on any more of that for right now. So this is alloys only. So put that in there. Make that for us. That'll make. Was that? I'll make a lot actually. So we really don't even need that extra two. Just make sure. Oh well, we only have enough for for eight. So was that? Give me, I guess give me those chests back. Come on, anytime now. There we go. All right. So let us turn those into nuggets. And then, oh, there we go. Item conduits. So how do you make a tank? Just like a basic tank. Nothing fancy. Wait, what is this? A water tank. I don't need a water tank. Let's see. Um, I guess, yeah, this one. So iron bars, glass, and just iron. So one, two, three, four. I have some bars left over and I guess possibly this quite clear or just clear glass maybe hopefully that'll work ah good it will so portable fuel tank or fluid tank can be used to empty and fill fluid containers interesting all right well let's go do this and hopefully test it out real quick uh, to end off the episode because I don't know how long it's been going. Uh, probably with that cut to get to the uh, whatever fortress. Probably, I don't know, getting close to 20 minutes, 25 minutes. I'm, I'm, I'm uncertain now. It messed me all up. All right, there we go. So... I guess we need to configure this to be extract only. Um, I guess always active, right? Signal color red. Don't know anything about that, so whatever. And extract only, always active. And, oh wow, that's a very small tank. Hopefully I can add more around it, kind of like that capacitor bank, you know, upgrade it. But, uh... So right now, we gotta go find, I guess, a skeleton, Mr. Jack Skeleton, and uh, put him over here. I would assume that there's probably one over here, maybe. Oh, there's our, there's our friend. All right, so is it shift right click? It is, it is, can't confirm. Um, so we got him in there, so let us go over here put him in this powered spawner oh oh my gosh my mistake I was I was shifting to try to get through there but messed up oh golly there we go put you in there 
Oh, apparently we cannot put him in there. That's not what I want. Okay, so yeah, right click on a mob to capture its soul, again to release it. And why can't I put it in there exactly, game? I don't understand it. Oh wait, is it too... Wait, let me go get that empty one. Because maybe... Maybe it'll change the spawner type for me. And we have to take out the spider soul or whatever. And put in this skeleton one to actually make it work. Potentially. We will see. Uh, let's do that. You gonna do anything for me? Always active? No, that's gonna make it spawn. Oh, uh, it's just gonna take a really long time. Hopefully I'm not destroying the spawner. Golly. Because, yeah, I, I, I did not read up on any of this, as you may have assumed. Uh, but, I don't know. Who? Oh, I guess they're probably above me. Because I was like, that is super close. So, I'm assuming it is taking that out. Oh, maybe... Okay, so maybe it is actually moving that across. And I, I just messed up. Let's see. I guess we should also move back. Just case it does spawn. Let's see what do we got. Again, hopefully I don't break the spawner. Wait. Oh, I gotta get closer. Okay, so the soul vial is a spider soul vial. Oh, no. Now I'm just really confused. Because I can't put that in there. So, oh. So this is just so if you want to capture one spider. For whatever reason. That doesn't make any sense. Okay, so we have to actually go get a zombie and uh, skeleton spawner, I guess actually make a spawner that will spawn and actually use this possibly I guess I should have done some more reading my bad but yeah I guess on that down note uh, I will go ahead and end off the episode there so hopefully you enjoy if you did leave a like give you comments leave those down below if you haven't subscribed to the channel uh, you may want to think about doing it but yeah golly that that is a that's a real downer I thought I could change what uh, could be spawned out there Maybe I still can. I just got to read up on it. So I'll do that in between this episode and next episode. And we'll maybe have that as a little bit of it. But kind of what I want to do. If we come over here. What I kind of want to do next episode is work a little bit more with these bees. And I kind of want to like dig out this corner in here. And uh, make like, I don't know, like a little laboratory type of deal. Where I could put all of the forestry uh, machines and all the industry machines and all that good stuff. So that we can, whenever we have the time or whatever, we can start working on some bees. Uh, and getting them mutated or what other stuff you can do with them. Uh, but yeah. So like I said, I think I'm going to call the episode there for today. So again, hopefully you enjoyed. Hope you have a great rest of your day. I'll talk to you next time. Bye bye. Chicken. Apparently he died. Anyway, see you later, guys.